Bloom's Taxonomy is a very dynamic tool, and you can use it for so many different things. You can use it to help you not only ask questions and lead discussions, but you can also use it as part of a problem session or a lab, as well as recitation sections, um, as well as developing your test questions. And so today I brought with me um, a TA from engineering to talk about how he uses Bloom's Taxonomy in his class. Thanks, Barbie. My name is Mark. I'm a graduate TA in the Chemical Engineering Department. And I've had the fortune of teaching uh, an intro level problem session in the chemical engineering program, as well as one of the upper level labs uh, in the department as well. And using Bloom's Taxonomy has really encompassed both aspects uh, of either a problem session or the lab. Uh, it's always important to make sure as a TA you are staying consistent with the overall structure of the course, uh, the syllabus, maintaining communication with the professor, to make sure that the students are really getting the big picture and not walking away from your session wondering where the connection was. And that's where Bloom's Taxonomy comes into play, um, particularly with the problem session when you're organizing the outline for what you're going to cover. You need to uh, be aware of the types of problems that you're going to be presenting, making sure that they're consistent with the material they just had in the lecture. Uh, it's not over or under emphasizing any of the points. You know, if they've been covering analysis, type level questions that you're not going to give them a whole problem session full of knowledge and comprehension problems. Um, and that's really one of the most important aspects that I use Bloom's Taxonomy is to identify the correct problems to use. Thanks, Mark. So do you think that students are more prepared for their final exams or their quizzes or their tests after you've taken time to really think about the use of Bloom's Taxonomy when you work with them in their problem sessions? Absolutely, Barbie, or at least I'd like to think so. Um, it's really crucial to, to make sure for that consistency that you are asking the appropriate types of questions and you're presenting the appropriate material to them. Um, really the most we can do is hope to prepare them in, an, in a fully effective way. And by using Bloom's Taxonomy and matching what you're doing in the problem session with what they're learning in the lecture, you're maximizing their potential to do the best they can on an exam or, or a quiz by making sure that they're getting exposure to all the different types of questions they might possibly encounter in an exam um, setting. Excellent. Thank you.